Welcome to ATC CAD. My name is David Atkins. We have another episode based on a student question from the AutoCAD for Beginners class. In that class, we discuss using the AutoCAD table object to display spreadsheet like data in our drawings. What we don't cover in the Beginners class is how to connect these tables to Excel. So today we'll cover two ways to import existing Excel spreadsheets into AutoCAD. We'll also cover how to go the other way to take AutoCAD tables and export them to Excel. This can allow us to share data to non-CAD coworkers or import data directly into estimating software. If that sounds good to you, you should just go ahead and click like and subscribe now. You probably won't regret it. In order to create a two-way link between an AutoCAD table and a spreadsheet, you do have to have Excel installed on your AutoCAD workstation. You can export to a CSV for importing into Google Sheets, but this is a one-way process, and it won't allow you to change your AutoCAD table from the spreadsheet, and vice versa like Excel will let you do. There are AutoCAD add-ons that claim to allow this, but I haven't tried them, so I can't really say if they work well or not. The most powerful way of connecting AutoCAD and Excel is with data links. To use a data link, you first have to have an existing Excel spreadsheet that you'd like to use. Depending on the complexity of the spreadsheet, you may need to open it up and take a few notes. If you have multiple worksheets, you'll need to know which tab you want to link. You can absolutely link multiple tabs, but they need to be connected to separate tables. If you only want to link a portion of a worksheet, you'll need to know what range of columns and rows you want to link. By default, AutoCAD will try and link the entire worksheet, which you may not want to do if your spreadsheet includes some data that you would consider proprietary. With this information at hand, we can start the process of linking the spreadsheet. Go to the Annotate tab in the ribbon and start the Table command. In the Table Creation dialog box, select the From a Data Link option. From here, you can choose the Launch Data Link Manager option from either the dropdown or the icon to the right. In the next dialog box, choose Create a New Excel Data Link. The new window asks you to name the data link. This isn't the name of a spreadsheet, but rather the name that AutoCAD will name it internally. You can name it anything you want. I'm going to name it Jimmy for no reason whatsoever. I would recommend that you name it something a bit more descriptive in your own project, but I'm not your mom. Do what you want. If you don't have Excel installed, this is where you'll get stuck. But if you do have Excel installed, you can continue. In the next dialog, we'll choose which worksheet we'd like to link. If we leave the range option blank, it will import the entire sheet. If you want a more limited range, you can check the notes you took earlier and define how much of the spreadsheet that you want to import. As with all linked things in AutoCAD, it's really important to make sure you choose relative path instead of full path. Don't concern yourself with the preview window. I've never gotten a satisfactory preview in the dialog. Maybe I'm too impatient to wait for it to load. Just cross your fingers and click OK. As you can see, the worksheet has been loaded into an AutoCAD table object, complete with all of your fancy formatting. Hooray! This table can be edited in Excel, and AutoCAD will update the table with just a little help from you. Alternatively, if you only want the data from the spreadsheet, but want to keep your AutoCAD table style intact, you can hit the arrow in the lower right and uncheck the Use Excel Formatting option. This will replace the Excel formatting with your preferred AutoCAD table formatting. So you've got your table loaded and you need to make a change to the Excel file. No worries, just open it up in Excel and make your changes. When you come back to AutoCAD, you'll generally get a notification that the data link needs updating. Generally, but not always. Some older versions of AutoCAD don't automatically check for updates. If you get the notification, just click on the blue link and the table is reloaded. If you didn't get the notification, just go to the table panel in the annotate tab and select Download from Source. Click on the table on your screen that you want to update, and AutoCAD will take care of the rest. But what if we want to go the other direction? We want to edit the Excel table from inside AutoCAD. Well, this is a tiny bit more complicated. You see, when you have a linked Excel table, all the loaded cells are locked and can't be edited directly. But don't worry, unlocking the cells isn't difficult. Simply click once in the cell you want to unlock, or click and drag your cursor across several cells at once, 
and find the Cell Locking button in the Table Cell Contextual ribbon tab. You can choose to unlock the content, the format, or both, depending on what you want to do. Once the cell is unlocked, you can make whatever changes you wish. Once you've finished your edits, we need to push those changes to Excel. This is done on the Table panel of the Annotate tab with the Upload to Source command. Done. A quick note. Like all links that AutoCAD can have, once you make the link, you can't change the name of the file or the location without also breaking the link. So don't do that unless you enjoy remapping links, which no one actually enjoys. If you don't need two-way linking, there is another method you can use. You can go into a formatted Excel spreadsheet, highlight the cells you want to put into AutoCAD, and copy them to the clipboard. Go back into AutoCAD, and you can paste it. Voila! This creates what's called an Olay object, which isn't super important to know, but there you go. AutoCAD has had this ability for decades, but I've always avoided it because it looked pretty terrible. But good news, it doesn't look god-awful anymore. There are some limitations to this method. You cannot edit the table directly in AutoCAD. In order to edit it, you need to double-click on the table. This will open up a temporary Excel spreadsheet, one that is not connected to the original that you copied over. Any edits that you make here will be applied to your AutoCAD table when you close Excel. Getting data out of AutoCAD can be a little more involved depending on what kind of data you're trying to export. Weirdly enough, there's no method to export an AutoCAD table directly to Excel format. You have to export it to a CSV first and then open it in Excel. The good news is this method works whether you have Excel installed or not. CSVs will work with any spreadsheet software, which is great news for you Google Sheets, LibreOffice, and Lotus 123 users who are time traveling from 1998. Fun fact! Apparently, National Lotus 123 Day is January 26, which makes no sense whatsoever. You'd think it'd be on the 23rd. You can launch the export command in two ways. The first is to click on the table you want to export, right click, and choose export. The other way is the command table export. It's not in the ribbon, so you'll have to type it. Like all CSV exports, you're not going to export the formulas that you may have created inside the AutoCAD table, only the values themselves. You also won't have any formatting carried over either, but it's certainly better than typing things twice, and it's quite possible to copy and paste the CSV data into an already formatted table afterwards. I think this is a perfectly good method to use if you want to export a count table. What's a count table? Oh man, I don't think I've talked about this before. It's only the best tool for estimators that AutoCAD has put out in years. Have you been using a highlighter in your fingers to do planned takeoffs? 34, 35, 36. Have you been interrupted? 42, 43, 44. Are you so good for the 24th? 4, 25, 26. Crap. Save time in highlighter ink by using the count table. The count palette was added a couple years ago and can be found in the view ribbon. The count palette will count all blocks in a drawing or in a specified area and give you a count of each of them. Just like the old B count command, but unlike the B count command, you can then take that information and have it automatically fill in an AutoCAD table that you can put into your drawing and or export. Often exporting a simple CSV is more than enough to get the data out of AutoCAD in a format that you can use for project estimating or making a materials order list. Finally, we have the choice to extract AutoCAD fields into its spreadsheet. If you've never used AutoCAD fields before, then I have great news. We don't have time to cover it in depth today. There are a ton of options and setup that you should understand to take full advantage of it. That said, let's take a relatively simple example and see how it can be used. Here we have an architectural floor plan that we'd like to get the area and room perimeter data from. We created a layer called Area and drew polylines around all the rooms that we wanted the data from. So far, so good. We start the Data Extraction command and choose Create a New Data Extraction. Saving the DXE file that AutoCAD uses to track the data in our project directory, and then click Next. On the next page, we can choose to load multiple drawings and get data from all of them at once. This is fantastic for getting data out of large projects. 
For now, we'll just leave everything at default and click Next. On the next page, we get a list of all the objects in the drawing, or set of drawings. Here we are interested in polylines, so we will check that, and only that, and click Next. On the next page, we see all the properties that AutoCAD can know about a polyline. I'm going to check the area, the length, and the layer properties. If you can't see all three, make sure your filters on the far right are checked. Then click Next. The next page is where we filter our results. You can see we have every polyline, which isn't super helpful. So we'll right-click on the Layer column and choose Filter Results. Unchecking any layer that isn't area will give us a list of the areas and perimeter lengths of every area in the drawing. Finally, on the final page, we can decide where we want to put the data. We can put it into an AutoCAD table, or export it to CSV, XLS, or other formats. As you can see, there's a lot going on here, and this is a powerful tool. If you'd like to see another video that goes into depth about how to make this work for your projects, let me know in the comments. Perhaps the most important tip I ever have for AutoCAD is only do something once. Whenever you draw or type or do anything more than once, you increase the chance that you'll forget something when changes need to be made. It's inevitable. By linking tables with Excel, we remove potential problems by letting the computer do the coordination for us. It also lets us easily share project data with non-CAD-able partners. Sending that spreadsheet with all the electrical components we need to a purchasing agent or a material supplier means we can get back to other important tasks, like learning new rap lyrics for karaoke night. Yeah, nay, yeah, when an AK melee pen is edited like a play date, but a VK retreat like a VK may day. This beat is cray cray, ray J, H A, H A, H A. Laughing all the way to Frank, I spray flames that cannot tame but placate the monster. Aren't you supposed to be working on a video? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Did you find this helpful? Click the like button. Likes are how I decide if my next video will cover AutoCAD or Revit or something else. Do you have a burning question of your own that you'd like to see a video about? leave a comment. Finally, if you haven't hit subscribe yet, let me tell you, my kids have told me when I hit a thousand subscribers, they'll do their own laundry, so help a brother out. Did you like my amazingly timely Lotus 123 reference? Hit the bell icon so you don't miss next time when I mention Zork or Pogs or Annette Funicello. And if you're interested in our AutoCAD, Revit, Inventor, Fusion 360, MicroStation, Civil 3D, SketchUp, or 3DS Max classes, check us out at AtkinsTechConsulting.com. As always, I'm David, and happy cat. Fadeable, I'm unavoidable, I'm unavailable, 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 I'm un